YouTube, what it is, it's your boy Diesel from Diesel TV, and today we're going to talk about that Strybog A3. Yes, 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 you heard correctly. We're talking about the Strybog A3, baby. So, um, I just recently got this gun, man. Um, I got it off of a website. I paid about 860 bucks for it, I think it was, and that came with the brace. Um, there was a different brace that I wanted on it, but I got this one because it was so much cheaper. The one with the brace I wanted on it, it was like $1,200, so I went ahead and picked this one up. So. Here is the case, man. I like the way they have this cased up. Uh, unlike the CZ Scorpion and, and, and the MPX, it comes in a cardboard box. This actually comes in an actual gun case. Uh, so um, a lot of people call it a suitcase or whatever, but briefcase or whatever, but it's not really a briefcase. It's more of like a, a, a hard gun case. Uh, and I like it, man. I like the way they, um, they packaged it, all right? So as you can see, this is how it can, comes right here. Um, now, the stick mags right here it comes with three stick mags i want the other one is in my closet my save my gun closet um i usually how i hang my guns is with a magnet and when i take a gun out to to use it i usually just stick the magazine because the magazine is usually full with my with my hollow points i usually stick that on the magnet if it'll stick and these new magazines do have the metal here and they will stick to the magnet so i have the other one in, in the gun safe but this is how it comes. It does not come with the, with the brace on it. It comes with the brace separate. So you have to put a brace on there. Um, but I just went ahead and did it before I head out to the range and all that stuff, man. Um, let me go ahead and get this out of the, the case and uh, we will look at it a little bit closer. All right, man, here it is. The Strybog A3 from Grand Power, okay? Now, a lot of people say that this is a new gun, and in actuality, this is not a new gun. It just has the roller delayed system. It, it is basically the exact same gun, and instead of it being blowback, it's just roller delayed. So um, I think that's one of the reasons why it took me so long to get this gun. Uh, one of the factors of me getting this gun was my boy RGG, regular, a regular gun guy. Y'all need to check out his channel. He was talking so highly of it and you know i was watching videos of certain channels that would put thousands and thousands of rounds through their guns and that's just you know i ain't that big of a channel i don't shoot as much i do shoot as much but i don't i wouldn't be shooting this gun as much so i heard it from a regular gun guy and i i, I see myself as a regular gun guy you know on that level of being a regular guy uh you know i, I have a love for guns but i am just regular like anybody else that um you know i ain't gonna be running that many rounds through especially with the with the prices of rounds are now i'm not gonna be running that many rounds through it so i went ahead and got it because i really wanted to compare this to the mpx the and the cz uh, i've already done a review on the mpx and the cz i've already got mine out there so that's why i'm doing a review on this now so as it comes out the box man without the um without the flip to the side brace it comes ready to shoot you already have your sights on here which some people I don't know if anybody even knows this or not, but I haven't seen many people talk about this, but it has these flip up sights right here that come built in. But if you leave the sights flipped down, it is what you use if you don't have a brace on it. Because if you can see, it has the notches right there for it to be fired like a regular handgun. If you can see those notches. So it has the notches right here, like it's supposed to be uh, fired from like a, a regular pistol or something, man. And a lot of people don't, don't, don't know that. So if you do not have a brace and you wanna just fire it with one hand, you can still do so without pulling up these sights because if you pull up these sights, they are hard to use when they're not closer to your, you have to shoot it like this to use the sights. But instead of having those flipped up, you just flip that down and you can use it as a, like, a, like a regular handgun, okay? Now, flipping the, flipping the, um, actual um and, and you guys see that the gun is not loaded okay but flipping the arm brace out um that's when you want to use those flip up sights now if you are using the brace you cannot use those notch sights because it would be too hard to bring your head down you'd have to shoot it like that um for you to be able to use those sights so you would have to just use just, just like this and uh, use those flip up sights that come with it. 
<clears throat> it has a non-reciprocating handle right here. Right here is the bolt release and all the all the controls are ambidextrous all right the bolt release right here uh you just push that down <clears throat> like a like 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 an ak-47 just pr press it down like an ak-47 the mag release right here same on the other side has the mag release and the safety right here on the side and you just use that you can use that on both sides as you guys can see so what I want to check out is, let's check out the trigger next, all right? So it does have a flat trigger on it, which a lot of people are going, starting to go to the flat trigger, which I love a flat trigger, all right? That's one thing I will say about this gun. It does have a flat trigger on it, but how well is the trigger, okay? So let's see. We're going to start off. We're going to see if it has any take up. No take up at all. I didn't feel a wall or nothing. And it hardly even moves after it's been fired, okay? So let's go ahead and reset it. Bring it out, right there, click. A Little bit of take up, and there. Now, I will say the, the trigger, from what I feel on here, the trigger's not as good as the MPX, but it's still a real good trigger. I think it is a very, very, very good trigger. Now, when it comes to this gun, man, um, I'm, going, I'm going to take it to the range, I'm gonna shoot it, and then I'm gonna come back here and we're gonna talk about how I feel about this gun, okay? Um, so let me let me get it out to the range real quick and uh, we're gonna shoot it and I want most of most of my my talking about it after I've shot it okay I just wanted to show you some of the features of this gun before I head out to the range so let's go ahead and head on out to the range and um, and see what we think all right guys we are out here at the range with the Strybog a3 grand power Strybog okay um, we're gonna start off at the 15 then go out to the 25 I got two magazines and uh let's see what we think man this is my first shot this is my so the mag's try not trying to go in there for some reason i might have overfilled it hmm that was strange all right like i said guys we are out here with the strybog a3 straight out the box man i have not fired it yet this is going to be my first time shooting it so let's see what it can do man Up. I like these little sights, man. Let's see how well I like them, though. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so yes, this is a very, very good shooting gun. Uh, RGG, you are right on point with this one, man. It is, it is a very, very good shooting gun. Um, these sights, man. I've never shot these kind of sights before. I've shot ghost ring sights, but with a hole that small, it really works. So, man, I was, I'm, I, hey, listen, I am pleasantly surprised. Um, wow, this thing, wow, this thing stays on target very well. Man, I, I will have to say I'm pleasantly surprised, man. Pleasantly surprised. Wow. Okay. Let's let's go out at 25 and see what we can do from 25. All right, we are at the 25. Let's see what we can do. Got a. Oh, okay. Bolt release right there. Okay. Let's do it. 25. Here we go. I do like this gun. I do like it. Very good shooting gun. I, I will say that. Let's go on back to the office, man. All right, guys. As you could see, man, I really, really enjoyed shooting that gun. I, I, I really do like the Strybog. All right. There are some things that I don't like about it, but we'll get into that. But overall, I do like the Strybog more than I don't like it. Now. Um, I might be referring back, but I'll do. I, I am going to do a 
a comparison video to all all of those all of the other guns the mpx and the cz so i'm not going to mention those other guns i'm gonna i'm gonna mention those guns you know when i do that video but um very light recoil um recoil was not all that bad the sights surprised me more than anything i thought it was going to be a little hard to keep it on target with those sights but it was not because the recoil impulse was not all that bad um shooting it um sh just just sitting there shooting it was 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 it was fun man it was fun it felt like a little small like an mp7 kind of type uh feel to me it felt more like an mp7 to me um but that is not a bad thing because i really do like mp7s as well uh but like i said man it, it is a very very fun gun to shoot as i said on the video rgg was right man it's a real good real fun gun to shoot there are some things that i do not like about the gun that i that i wish were a little bit different um for one that magazine loading that freaking magazine is hell i mean it is hell and i will show you all right so i got the i got the magazine and i got the bullets all right so i'm gonna just go ahead and start loading these bullets in so right now, as you get started, you know, it's very easy to put the bullets in. You know what I'm saying? This is a 30 round magazine. So it's real easy to put these bullets in. All right. Now I'm, I'm getting closer to 15 and it's getting a little bit harder to put these bullets in. And this is the problem that I was having at the range, man. I was really having a hard time loading these magazines at the range. So after you get the 20 and hold on, it's 19 and that's 20. After you get the 20, listen, it, it, listen, it starts getting to the point where it starts hurting. And I don't think any kind of, because you, you load them like you load a 223 magazine, like a 556, an AR magazine. You just load it from the top and just push it in. But I don't think it should be this hard to load a daggone, a daggone magazine. And it gets harder and harder as you go ah. Ah. Right. 29 ah. all right last one ah. see how hard it was for me to dang on load that in look 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 at my thumb like that's crazy man it, it should not it should not be that hard to load a magazine i've got 30 rounds in here now and it's and it's real hard to load the magazine now i saw some videos where the where the um magazine gets bind up and then it doesn't feed the gun right and it and it leads to like a misfeed or something like that so and i can see how the it binds up and stuff like that but so that's one of the things that i really don't like about the strybog a3 all right other thing i don't i'm not gonna say i don't like it i'm not gonna say i don't like it but the side charging is is different for me you know i'm used to an ar and stuff like that and i, I say this with every gun that i have a side charging on you know that that um that's uh chris vector same thing uh cz scorpion same thing even though the cz scorpion is fun to do the slap down and everything it's still the same thing i'm used to an ar platform kind of thing so that's a little bit throwback for me that's a little throw off for me when it comes to the strybog is just you know you might have a malfunction and then you're trying to clear it and you're like oh 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 what do, what do i do and you go to the back and you can't do it which i didn't have any malfunctions or anything like that i just have done that with the with the chris vector where i've had malfunctions and i go to clear it and i go to you know pull uh pull the um charging handle and, it, and it's and it's not there in the back it's in the front you know so i do like i said i do like i do like the gun i have really hardly any bad things to say about the gun i watched a lot of video on this strybog a3 I, I watched a lot of video on it and it was minor you know minor malfunctions with it it usually came with the lower grain bullet 115 grain or 124 grain didn't really have as much as 115 um but from what i researched uh this is a german gun and it was made for the p plus p ammunition 
So that high powered ammunition is what it's really made for. So uh, Grand Power had to come out with another spring and I'm not sure if they put the springs in the newer ones or not. Um, this is a newer one, but I didn't have any problems with it feeding or anything like that. So I think mine is good as far as, you know, misfeeds and all that stuff. Now, uh, I don't think, I don't think the Strybog would be something I would go to as far as um, that type of setup, but it, it still is a very, it's a very fun gun to shoot, man. I, I would say it's a real, real fun gun to shoot. So, um... I don't, I, I don't know, I can't remember if I missed it or not on the front one, but it does come with a threaded barrel, which most of uh, the guns on this, on this like caliber came with a threaded barrel, the MPX, the CZ, the Chris Vector, all those came with a threaded barrel. So um, it does come with a threaded barrel and everything um, and a threaded barrel protector on it. Um, this roller de delayed uh, system is extremely easy to clean. I mean, it is extremely easy to clean. I've only watched video on it haven't done it yet because that was my first time taking it to the range but from what i've seen it is very very easy to clean man you just take out one pin take off this brace and you just slide everything out man so it's not that hard to clean that's going to be the strybog a3 guys stay tuned for my video when it comes to comparison the, the strybog the cz and the mpx man it's going to be very interesting on what i feel so you guys stay tuned for that video i hope you enjoyed the content Make sure you hit that like button along with the subscribe and make sure you hit that bell notification along with it, man. I know that's asking for a lot, but it don't cost you a thing, all right? And y'all know what it is. I'm out.